The importance of neat pipe work. Part 1. Many model steam plants are spoiled by badly fitted pipe work. In this video I show how to fit a displacement lubricator to the Stuart S50 steam engine ready for the piping. There's a bit of a story behind this steam plant. The parts were sent to me by a customer in the USA for whom I am building quite an upmarket steam plant with a Stuart S50 and a Stuart 10 V. This boiler was very badly damaged as I received it from the USA. Don't take my word for it, just watch this short video clip of how I fixed it. This one has a massive dent or dint in the side of it and the problem is the metal it's made from is copper and copper work hardens very easily. So what I'm trying to do here is soften the metal or anneal it using a blowtorch. I need to heat the area that I need to work on until it turns red. I'm using a small blowtorch head because I don't want to really blast every part of the boiler and destroy all of the other joints. The 500 series boilers are designed to run at 60 pounds per square inch so really the hydraulic test only needs to be 120 pounds per square inch. Watch what happens when I take the pressure higher than 150. As if by magic, the severe dent in the side of the boiler starts to disappear as the pressure increases. As you can see, there are still some marks on the boiler, but the major dent is gone. Originally, I sold this boiler to one of my Patreon supporters for £100, including all the fittings, not exactly profiteering. Because the boiler was so incredibly cheap, £100 is what the fittings are worth. I wanted payment by bank transfer to avoid PayPal fees. And this method of payment was initially agreed, but then he backtracked and started saying he wanted to pay me by PayPal, and then he started moaning about the import duty. And at this point, I decided not to sell him it. Instead, I have a friend down the road called Dennis, and Dennis is 83 and is a very interesting character. I gave both the 500 boiler and the Stuart S50 to Dennis. No money was involved whatsoever. It's a reciprocal thing. Dennis brings me bits and pieces, and so I gave him the 500 boiler and the S50. He built a mounting for the boiler, which houses the gas burner, and one of his friends, who is a woodworker, made him this base. I said I would pipe up the plant so it looked good. And this is video number one in a very short series about piping the steam plant and giving it a test run. This very small globe valve was only fitted to the steam chest for test running it on the bench. This valve is a bit too small, so I removed it. The hole in the steam chest to admit steam to the engine is only 3 sixteenths by 40 threads per inch, which is a bit on the small side. The piping that fits this valve is very small indeed, fine for a water gauge blowdown valve, not very good for a main feed to a steam engine. The first part of the job involves increasing the size of this hole into the steam chest. I removed the steam chest cover and immediately noticed that the hole wasn't in the right place in the casting. And from a purely aesthetic point of view, I decided to put this right before enlarging the hole to take a quarter by 40 fitting. I'm using a needle file to move the hole into the centre of the casting, so that when I drill it through tapping size for quarter by 40, it will be in the right place. Putting the hole in this position using a needle file was quite easy, because I was only really filing the threads. Now it's over to the drilling machine to drill the hole 7 seconds of an inch, which is tapping size for a quarter by 40 threads per inch. And as you can see in this clip I've just threaded the hole. Quite a neat thread and it's in the middle. Well, near enough in the middle, I don't think the casting is 100% accurate, but it will be fine for this job now. I cleaned up the burr on the inside part of the steam chest and then using the same wet or dry sandpaper, I cleaned up the front face a little bit. I fitted a steam union that I made a while back for another job. This is quarter by 40 at both ends. This was fitted to the steam chest cover using some Loctite 542 and a copper washer. On screen at the moment is a small PM Research displacement lubricator and above that to the left is a quarter by 40 PM Research cast elbow. To the right of the lubricator is a quarter by 40 T piece. This is not a PM Research part, it was bought from Blackgate's engineering. The usual quick word about the quarter by 40 cast elbow from PM Research, it's not the kind of quarter by 40 thread that we use in England, so generally speaking, I have to re-thread this. I think the pitch is wrong, it's not a tapered fitting, it's just a pitch situation. In no time at all, 
The part is threaded to fit the threads that I have in the workshop, and here's the cast elbow fitted on the steam chest. The customer in the USA sent me quite a lot of bits and pieces, and this is a box of PM Research fittings. I don't need any of these for this part of the job, but they will come in very useful when I pipe the exhaust to the boiler. This clip shows what I'm about to do. The thread on the T-piece is quarter by 40, and the thread on the displacement lubricator is 3 16 by 40. I threaded the T-piece 3 16 by 40 down the middle as shown here. I left the union nut on because it makes for a very neat fitting on the end of the T-piece and here I'm screwing the entire assembly into position. Once I'd verified that everything fits together OK, I removed the parts, applied some Loctite 542, and refitted the parts. This Loctite 542 is a thread sealant, so I don't think I'll be getting any steam leaks here anytime soon. This part of the job was pure luck. As I screwed the assembly into position, it ended up being exactly in the right place, so that's a good thing. I'm fitting the union nut and cone on the bottom part of the T-piece just to protect the threads. This will effectively hold the 5 seconds of an inch diameter steam inlet pipe. I'm not going to fit the steam inlet pipe just yet though, I want to show how to fill one of these lubricators. Here I'm using steam oil and it's very important to use this stuff. It's called steam cylinder oil and it's the correct stuff to use for the job. You must not use motor oil or machine oil in a displacement lubricator. One more tip before I go, be careful not to cross thread the lid on the displacement lubricator. It's surprisingly easy to do. And that's it from me, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.